Hi, my name is Pam and I'm going to show you how to set up Website Tonight, which is an online website editing program that's provided free with every domain name that you purchase from GoodEarthDomains.com. Website Tonight is packed with great features and in just one evening you can create a unique and attention-grabbing website for your family projects, a business startup, a ministry, or a hobby. Anyone who has something they want to share or promote on the World Wide Web can do it with Website Tonight without spending hundreds of dollars. The benefit of using an online program such as Website Tonight is that you can edit your web pages from any computer, anywhere, as long as you have your 8-digit customer ID number and password. Your 8-digit account number was created for you when you bought your first domain name from Good Earth Domains. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Website Tonight account, how to choose a website template, how to insert and edit text on your web page, change a template photo, insert a photo on the web page, and finally how to add a contact page to your website. One thing to keep in mind when you're working with an online web editing software such as Website Tonight you may experience some short pauses in response between your computer and the Website Tonight server, which could be thousands of miles from your computer or laptop. The responsiveness between your computer and the Website Tonight server can be affected by the speed of your computer's processor, uh, the amount of random access memory or RAM that you have installed, uh, the speed of your internet connection, or even the time of day. So, let's get started. Log into your Good Earth Domains account with your 8-digit username and password. Once you're logged in, look under My Products and click on Website Tonight. If you don't see Website Tonight listed, you may have to click on Show All My Products in order to see the button for Website Tonight. A yellow section will appear in the middle of the page. You'll notice it refers to Website Tonight credits. Every time you purchase a domain from GoodEarthDomains.com, you receive a credit for a free Website Tonight account. Click on Use Credit. If you've watched my video on how to set up your webmail account, this probably looks familiar because we set up the webmail address exactly the same way. A box will appear on the right that says Set Up Free Account. Click on the drop-down arrow to view the domains that you own and select the domain that you want to create a website for. Click on the green Continue button at the bottom of the dialog box. Depending on your browser's behavior, sometimes you have to scroll down to see the green Continue button. A dialog box will appear that says Website Tonight added successfully. Click on Close. Now go to the last page of your Website Tonight plans. You should now see New Account at the very bottom of your list. Check the box. Now click on Launch. The EULA screen will appear with the standard language. Click on Accept. In your Site Settings screen, enter a username for your Website Tonight account. It must be 5 to 14 characters, start with a letter, contain no uppercase letter and no special characters. Enter your password. Your password must be 7 to 14 characters long, start with a letter, include an uppercase and lowercase letter, and include a number. This may all seem tedious, but your security is very important to GoodEarthDomains.com, so it's necessary to create a very unique username and password. Now enter the webmail address that I showed you how to create in the previous video. If you haven't set up your Good Earth Domains webmail address yet, I recommend that you stop before going any further. You need to set up your webmail address in order for your contact form to work properly on your web page. It can take less than 10 minutes to set up your webmail. So you needn't exit out of Website Tonight. Just pause, open a new browser window, go to purplechick.tv to view my video on how to set up your webmail address. Once you've set up your webmail address, return to this next step in the Website Tonight process. Now, enter your webmail address and your company or individual name and click OK. Congratulations, you've just completed setting up your Website Tonight account. Click on Getting Started. Click on Select Template. Website Tonight has many, many categories and a variety of templates in each category. 
I'm going to choose the restaurant category and select a nice bakery looking template. To see a larger view of the template, click on the Enlarge View button and a new browser window will open to show a larger view. If you like the template, close the browser window. In your template screen, click on Apply to My Site. Scroll down a bit and click on Work on My Site. You are now in the Website Tonight program homepage. Click on Design Your Pages. We're now looking at the home page for your website. To add the title of your web page, click twice on your title text and it will become editable. You can tell it's editable when you see the blinking cursor in the text block. In the layout section of your web page are other text blocks. Again, to make the block editable, click it twice. Type some text in the text block. On the left side of the site tab are various icons to change the font size, color, enter symbols, and create links. It actually looks similar to the menu bar in Microsoft Word. Change the text size or font, select the text, then click on the icon for the attribute you want to change. Once you've completed an edit, be sure to click on the Save icon to save your changes. Now let's add photos. The bread picture that came with the template, let's change it. In the Page tab, click on Change Background Image. Select the template image that you want to change. In this case, I want to change the bread image. Notice the size of the picture. It's 350 pixels wide by 615 pixels tall. This will be important later when changing template images. Click on Change Image. Click on the Upload Image tab. A window will open displaying your computer's files and folders. This is where the importance of the pixel size comes in. You need to try to select a photo that is proportionately the same size as the template photo, or else your replacement photo is going to look distorted. Do you know how to find out the size of any photo in your computer? Navigate to where you have the pictures stored on your computer, such as in your My Documents or My Pictures folder. Hover over the picture with your mouse and the image details will appear, showing the pixel dimensions in width by height. Once you've found the picture that you want from your computer, click on Open to upload the picture to Website Tonight. Here's the photo I selected from the file folder on my laptop. Make sure you see the red border around the picture. This indicates that you've selected it. Then click on Apply. To see what the web page will look like to your visitors, click on the Preview button in the top right. Yikes! That doesn't look like a bakery photo. Looks rather fishy. So let's change back to the original picture. To undo this template photo, go ahead and close the preview window. In the Page tab, click on Change Background Image. In the Background Images tab, select the image. Click on Revert to Original and click on Apply. The original background photo has now been restored. To insert an image in the text block in the web page layout, Click twice on the text block to make it editable. In the Insert tab, click on Images. Click on the Upload Image tab. Click on Browse and the view of your computer's files and folders will appear. Select the desired photo. Click on Open to upload the photo. Select the uploaded photo and click on OK. Your photo will now appear in the text block. We're now in the home stretch and have just one more task to go. One of the most important pages on your website is your contact page. Let's add that page now. In your Page tab, click on Add Pages. Select Copy of Existing Page. Make sure Home Page displays here. Click on Add Page. The Page Title section is now editable. Type in Contact Form. Click on Apply. To insert the actual contact form, Click on a text block to make it editable. Go to the Insert tab, click on Forms, and click on Contact Form. You now have a professional looking contact form on your website. When visitors complete the form, the data that they entered in each of the fields will be sent to your webmail address as a single text file attachment. I've now shown you how to start your website using the most common tools in Website Tonight. 
You're now ready to publish your website tonight pages to the internet. Click on publish in the top right, then publish all, and within a few minutes publishing is complete and you can now view your website. After viewing your site you can make more changes by selecting go to page designer. If you have questions about any of the products and services with Good Earth Domains, give them a call at the 24-7 Tech Support Line. Their number is 480-624-2500. They're friendly people, patient, they're easy to talk to, and they're sincerely interested in helping you get the most out of your investment in your domain name. And this is Pam, signing off. Have fun.